All right, so what I'm going to show you is actually something that um, I've read a lot about on the internet. I looked through quite a few different forums, and everybody talks about it, um, writes a lot up about it, or comments about it, or even there's some videos out there about it, but it just doesn't seem like anybody actually tells you completely how to do it. So what I'm going to show you is how I installed a Nest in my RV, okay? <clears throat> This is what we did. Now I already have it installed, so I didn't, I'm not going to show you the installation process itself, but I'll show you how I did it, and hopefully this will help you. So here I have a Nest. I have one here, okay, which is in my forward, runs my forward AC unit, uh, and it's in the hallway. And I also have a second one back here, which is for the bedroom. So I do run two nests actually in here. And this runs the rear unit that's in the bedroom. Um, so I'll show you how I did it. Uh, let's use this one. So I'm just gonna pull it off the wall for now. And I'm gonna show you the wiring. And I'll explain this to you. So, it's actually really easy. It's a lot easier than you would think. Uh, if you just use the right parts, it's a piece of cake. So what we have here is we have your Y1, which is your AC unit. You have your Y2, which is your high fan. Uh, this is going to be a second stage AC to the thermostat. G is your low fan. Okay? It's your low fan. W is going to be for your heat, your furnace, your common from the 24 volt transformer and then your um, hot which the red wire comes in from that same 20, 24 volt transformer that's what we got if you had a um, humidifier or something okay you could hook it up these things are great you can even hook up a second stage of um, heating so if you had like an electric heater or something like that this is really cool, all right? And the way that we get it to work is because we're adding a 24 volt transformer, common and a hot. And then we're using all of these uh, thermostat wires that were already here in the wall. And we just move them from the original thermostat to this thermostat. All those wires, they come up into the ceiling unit here. They come up into the ceiling unit, and I'll pull this down. And these are your thermostat wires that are coming up from the thermostat, right? Your AC, high fan, white for the furnace, and orange for your low fan. And what these are, are relays see the brand you can look it up if you like okay I bought these separately the relay from the actual housing you can buy them together I got them cheap I got them on eBay you can probably get them anywhere they're cool because they have lights on them so it actually lets you know when the circuit is closed and what you have here is you have a negative wire or a common that comes from a 24 volt transformer that I've installed also up here in this plenum. And then it pigtails right here because one side of that common goes into the relay and then I jump across the hall and I feed all the relays with that same common and I also run that common down the thermostat line to give it to the thermostat for my C-wire. Okay? And then on this side of the thermostat are the same colors. Right, yellow for yellow, blue for blue, white for white, and then you got tan here, or beige, for orange. And then I have a red wire which I've run across here. Actually, in hindsight, I should have used green because it would have made more sense in the end. Uh, but I did use red, all right? And what you have here is a red pigtail, or a red uh, wire nut, that brings my ground my ground from my AC unit, this ground used to go to a green wire, 
went down the thermostat line, and all I did was just cap it off. I'm not using the ground anymore. Not to the thermostat. But the ground is what triggers this zone, or this side of the relay. So as these go off, it connects a ground to each one of these appliances. AC, high fan, furnace, low fan. Okay? So you jump the ground around, and then as funny as it sounds, it might sound crazy, but the wire that you don't use is stuffed up here. That's the seven and a half wire, seven and a half volt wire that used to go down to the thermostat. Eh, it doesn't get that anymore either. And I don't use it to trip a zone either. This was simply to go down and run thermostat. Thermostat needed seven and a half volts just to run the thermostat itself. So I no longer use this power. Coming out of the AC unit, I just capped it off, tuck it up in here, get it out of my way. I don't need it. I'm using the ground. And then the line to each one of the appliances. So this is my low voltage side of the relay and this is my 24 volt side of my relay goes back to my thermostat and what I did all over here I'm not going to open this box but inside of here I put in a 24 volt transformer it fits right up in here because there's a whole cavity right here and you can just stuff it up in there and you take out your common from the 24 volt transformer and you take out your red from your 20 volt transformer and like I said common goes here pigtails down to the thermostat and the hot goes here directly down to the thermostat because the only guy who wants 24 volt is that thermostat okay and now watch I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna turn on the heat or turn on the uh, That, my friends, is how you get a nest to run in your RV, okay? Hope this helped you. Hope you enjoy the video. Ask questions if you like. I'll do everything I can to answer them. Happy RVing. <laughs>